Okay, so I want to quick <clears throat> talk about your arm and, and hand and everything. So, just based on the, the Bauer video, so this is external rotation happening. I, I really do think you can get more here, okay, and that's going to come from the lower half. It's right. This is a reaction, okay. So our hand is supinated, naturally supinated as this is happening, okay, and as you release the baseball, you should be pronating through it. Okay, and that, but that's a reaction. Okay, so right now, look at your finger placement. Okay, so as the ball is coming out of your hand, your hand tends to be on the outside part of the baseball. Okay, but if you watch what happens after that, okay, I know this isn't super clear. This is only 240 frames per second, and Bauer was probably at like a thousand frames per second. Okay, but hand position right here you're on the outside. So a lot of the times when you were throwing the ball to me, you, you had natural cut. That shouldn't be happening accidentally. And that is more of a reaction. So pronation isn't happening with the ball in your hand. It's happening after the ball comes out of your hand. And don't get me wrong, this happens with me too. And sometimes my ball cuts. And just by not throwing 90 miles an hour, the fact that we're only throwing 78 to 80 miles an hour, this can happen because we're not physically... Put, putting our pointer finger through the baseball and that's not something we can dictate with our hand that's just happening so if you look at release here I mean this is really hard for you to see but I've just I've looked at this so many times that I know what's actually happening so right here your hand is still supinated balls coming out of your hand and now your arm fully extends and then pronation happens now okay so you can see your thumb go down hard right here Okay, we saw Bauer doing that with the ball in his hand. Okay, so the reactions are happening later because they're not happening as fast. Um, so we, we see good external rotation back here with high velocity throwers. So we don't see you, these actions right here, the, how your arm is cocking, where it's cocking relative to front foot strike is really good, but the force from the ground isn't creating external rotation to happen yet. So notice your arm is still straight up and down. It doesn't start to lay back until right about here. Okay, so now we see we still we're still up and down, and then external rotation happens. Where high velocity throwers, their external rotation starts here. Google um, or excuse me, go to YouTube and type in Glenn Perkins slow motion, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. His external rotation is happening right now. Okay, and that has all all to do with what his legs are doing. Okay. You haven't gone into external rotation yet, still haven't, still haven't, and now it starts to happen. So you're not creating that force in the in the time that you need to. So external rotation happens later, and thus internal rotation happens later than you want it to relative to when you're releasing the ball. So I I know that's a complicated way for me to say that, uh, but you know hopefully you're following that. And if you don't, I, I can explain this more in person, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted you to see that, all of this forward movement here. Okay, so let's let's go back and, and zoom out. So, ball's coming out of your hand before your arm fully internally rotates and fully goes into pronation, and that's it's very typical. And watch your chest now. So the fact that your chest goes forward after the ball's in your hand has to do with when your hips are fully turned. Okay, so once our hips are fully turned, then we will have forward trunk tilt. And so the best throwers are doing that with the ball still in their hand. So you'll notice that a lot of the things that we're looking at, a lot of the things that we're seeing, Danny, they're the same exact movements, and they're just not as timed. They're not timed as well as a high-velocity thrower. So it's learning how can you enhance your movements. How can you do what you normally do, but do it better so things happen faster? And there's more hip to shoulder separation because you definitely do have the actions. It's just about timing them up a little bit better. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'll, I'll try to post the other ones without saying as much, but that gives you an idea from behind.